Hi guys, happy Homebrew Wednesday for Wednesday, October 28th, 2015. Um, happy Halloween. Um, and to celebrate that, tonight we are going to drink a pumpkin head ale sent to me by Battling Creek Homebrew, uh, Looney Larry TV. If you haven't checked out his channel, uh, go check it out. Um, this uh, review, or this tasting, is uh, long ever overdue. Larry sent me this quite a while ago and uh, I'm just now getting around to tasting it. So uh, without further ado, we'll crack it open. Oh yeah, nice hiss on that. Lots of smoke coming out of there. And uh, we'll get us a glass and we'll give her a pour. Got a nice head on that. Uh, maybe I was a little aggressive with the pour, but uh, it's got uh, lots of carbonation in it. Well, well carbonated. It's uh, got almost a, a light orange color to it. Um, an amberish orange color to it. Very nice color. It's uh, fairly clear. It's got a little bit of cloudiness, uh, but uh, yeah, it looks like a good beer. Let's uh, go ahead and give it a sniff. Right off the nose, you uh, definitely get that pumpkin spice that you smell like uh, when, a, uh, when a pumpkin pie is uh, baking. You get that smell right off of it. No uh, real aroma of, of uh, alcohol to it. Um, let's see what we got here. Says it was uh, born on 10-1-2014. Its uh, ABV is 5.8% and it's got 31.6 IBUs. Um, so without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and take a taste of this. Cheers everyone. Yeah, you uh, definitely get the pumpkin hint in there. Um, some uh, some like nutmeg or cinnamon type taste to it. Um, could be a little bit co colder. I wish it was a little bit colder, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a really good beer. Thanks, Larry, to, for uh, sending that to me. I uh, went ahead and uh, racked over the uh, watermelon wine earlier tonight. Um, so let me show you a little bit of footage on that. Um, that's going to go with uh, part two of how to make my watermelon wine. Um, hopefully this weekend I can get the second part of it uh, up to the aging process um, put up on YouTube. So it'll be uh, up to the aging process and then after the aging we'll uh, bottle it and sample it. will be part three. So look forward to those coming up and uh, here's some footage for you. So here we have the uh, watermelon wine. Um, as you can see, it's still got a pretty good color. It's uh, not clear yet, but it's been sitting in here for a little over two months now. And as you can see, once we get to the bottom, you can see all that sediment at the bottom. So we need to rack it off of that sediment so we don't get any off flavors. So uh, we'll show you how to do that. Okay, so first off, we've got our uh, clean jug here. We're going to go ahead and put some uh, star sand in there dump that down in there and then we'll fill that up with uh, cool water we'll fill that up with cool water as you can see it'll suds up and uh, we'll get this all sanitized okay and then once we've got it all full of sanitizer I go ahead and uh, take my racking cane and uh, rack the sanitizer down into a bucket so we can uh, sanitize anything else that we need to sanitize and also that way our uh, racking cane will be all sanitized and ready for the transfer. Okay so once you've got your uh, jug sanitized and your siphoning tube sanitized you'll just uh, bring your jug over, set it on the ground, slide your siphoning tube down in and uh, pop off your airlock And we'll stick that down in there and we'll give it a couple of pumps. 
start it. And that'll start siphoning down into the other jug. You want to be careful not to disturb the sediment at the bottom. We'll uh, go ahead and rack this off as much as we can into there. And then we'll be back. Just uh, kind of a tip for you guys. I uh, stack a couple things and put them up underneath there to kind of tilt the uh, jug. And then uh, I will put my siphon to this side of the jug so we can get as much liquid as we can. Um, if you can see that, it's uh, leaning this way. Just kind of a tip for you guys. As you can see, uh, racking it, it uh, looks fairly clear. You can uh, pretty much see through the tube there. So it's looking uh, fairly clear. As you're uh, racking it over, as you can see, the star sand's coming out of the top of the jug. It's uh, continuing to sanitize as it's pushing up, which is a good thing. This is normal. Just uh, letting you guys know that. Okay, and then uh, here's kind of the gunk that you're left with in the bottom of the jug. We will uh, see if we can see through the top here. That's uh, kind of what you're left with in the bottom of the jug. And uh, here is the new jug all filled up. Okay, so now we have it all racked over. And uh, we've got an airlock on top. We will just let it age. Still got a good lacing on that beer. Um, so yeah, um, that's really about it guys. Um, just a short little update for you this week. Uh, haven't really had time to do much brewing yet. Uh, hopefully in the next couple weeks we'll uh, get some time to do some brewing and get some footage out there. Uh, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update and uh, taste uh, Larry's beer. Thanks again Larry for sending that to me. And uh, until next time, remember, there's always time for a glass of wine. Cheers.